Amen. This morning we're going to start our Sunday school lesson off with talking about God's covenant with David. Amen. God's covenant with David. In other words, the, the promises that he made to him. And we all know that uh, God good on his word. God's Amen. good on his word. We'll uh, start off uh, on the B part of the lesson uh, background. Read this verse. Read it first. Oh, this is script. Uh, and it came to pass when, when the king sat in the house, and the Lord have given him rest around about from all his enemies. The king said unto uh, Nathan the prophet, See now how I dwell in the house of Cedar, uh, but the ark of God dwelleth within curtains. And uh, and Nathan said to the king, Go and do all that is in thy heart, for the Lord is with thee. And it came to pass that night that the word of the Lord came to Nathan, uh, saying, God, I'm going to go and tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Shall thou build me a house for me to dwell in? Whereas I have not dwelt in any house since the time that I brought up the children of Israel out of Egypt, even uh, to this day, but have walked in a tent and in a tabernacle. Now therefore, so shall thou say unto my servant David, uh, thou, thou thus says the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the uh, Sheep pets, sheep cow. For the fallen, uh, from following the sheep to be ruled over my people over Israel. And it was with the weather soever thou uh, winnest, and have cut off all thy enemies out of thy sight, and have made thee a great name, like unto the name of the great man that are in the earth. More, more, I will appoint a place for my people, Israel, and will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more, neither shall the children of the wickedness afflict them any more as before time. And when they, and when thou, and when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy father, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy Bible, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chastise him with the rod of men, and with the stripes of the children of men. But my mercy shall not depart away from him, as I took it from Saul, my, 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 whom I put away before thee, and thy house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. Amen. 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 In the key verse, the golden text. The golden text. Turn back to that page. What is it? I don't even see it. Because the golden text says, thy, said, thine house and thy kingdom oh. shall be established forever before thee. Thine throne will be established forever. Second Samuel 2, uh, 7 chapter and 16 verse. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nah. Oh, the deep part of the background lesson. Uh, for those that's uh, watching live, we come from Second Samuel, the seventh chapter in that area, and, and about when God having a discussion with David and had how David uh, starting to take reign uh, over the kingdom. And it says the previous two lessons examined the scripture dealing with God covenant with the nation of Israel. Today we move forward in time uh, of King David to consider another covenant God made. This one with the man after God's own heart. And I like that. God's covenant with David. God promises. 
And anytime you got a covenant with God, anytime God done promised you something, showed you a vision, He making a covenant with you that it's going to, and all we got to do is be patient and wait. It's going to come to pass, but a lot of times I, I feel in, uh, that what we go wrong, that, that when we have covenants and we have a conversation with God and God done showed us something or told us something, well, uh, we don't let patience have our perfect works. And, and we're getting away with God. Sometimes that can hold, hold, hold up a whole lot of stuff that can be blessings in our lives. But by we just, I, I guess, get in self and and and, uh, and and not. And, and sometimes when we in, in self, Pastor Bridget, we're not after God's own heart. Because when we after God's own heart, what we are we doing stuff pertaining to His will. Amen. 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 And this says David was in very David. David was in very ordinary uh, surroundings when Saul came to Bethlehem, Bethlehem yeah, to anoint and replace for King Saul, the youngest of eight brothers. Yeah, I like that part, ordinary. God can take somebody, you don't have to be somebody famous, you don't have to be somebody that, that name is all up you know, everywhere, or you have to be posted on the billboard. You can just be an ordinary person, and when God can take you, like he done did so many people in the Bible, and make your name great, make you great. And, and a lot of times, you know, we look at people uh, that's already made stardom, I mean, already uh, famous or whatever, but they, they were just ordinary person. You know, uh, I guess lately, O.J. Simpson name been in there because he got released from prison. Before he was a, a famous football player, he was just an ordinary person. Man. But he was made great. Uh, uh, Barack Obama, before he, we even know, knew him, that he was a senator. Uh, he was, uh, uh, God seemed fit to make him, to make him great. Amen. Yeah, Amen. And, and so, you know, just out of ordinary situation, and you can be made great. Even uh, if we read, go back into the Bible, the part of the son, how he was with his father, but he, I guess if he hadn't uh, took his inheritance and left and lost all of it, his name probably wouldn't have meant much. Because if you think about it, the son that stayed at home, he, the Bible talks a little bit about him, but mm -hmm. the more focus on the prodigal of son. And so he went from, uh, I guess, something to nothing, back to something, but his name was made great. Uh, for all of us to know, hey, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. God can elevate you, Amen. And, uh, but we got to come to our senses <laughs> for God Amen. to elevate us. Amen. And a lot of times, Amen. you know, God, God won't elevate us when we're in our mess. And, uh, and that just, you know, remind me of the part of the son. He was in his mess, and so God didn't have to elevate him. But when he came out of his mess, when he came to his senses, like, I want to be right by my father. Amen. Then God, you know, elevate him. Everything that he lost came back to him. And that's the same thing with us. I mean, when we're in a world of sin, and you know God done called you to preach, God done called you in some kind of ministry, be a missionary, be a urge, or whatever, or be on a praise team, or a praise dance, or, or, or whatever ministry, and you're running from it. But when you come to your sense and yield to God, and because and sometimes when we're running from God, we'll, some, we'll lose some stuff on the way. Ain't no way in the world you're going to tell me that Jonah didn't lose some stuff on the way All when right. he was at the bottom of the well. All you right. know, because he had some family. He had, he had to leave a home. He had to leave some families and some friends. So he had to leave some material stuff around. And so when we run from God and think we're hiding, we lose losing some stuff. But when we come to our senses, uh, God can elevate us and, and restore some stuff we lost. All right. All right. All right. And, and, uh, God. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. Oh, I thought you were saying something. Mm -hmm. that, uh, David was the youngest of eight brothers. David, uh, 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 vitally as a uh, as a candidate to be king, was not seriously considered by his father. Amen. Because what God showed you, I mean, uh, uh, go back. I mean, Pastor Bishop was talking about this last night. Joseph's brothers didn't take him serious. Amen. When when Joseph was telling them about the dream, all right, well, well, let me take that back. I, they took him serious in one aspect because if they didn't, they wouldn't have been trying to kill him. They wouldn't. Right. They, they wouldn't let jealousy step in. And so I think somewhere in the scriptures, in the Bible says, "Don't let your left hand know what your right hand doing." Yeah. We can't tell everybody everything that God done told all us. Right. Amen. Right. Pastor, Bridget, you can't tell every pastor that God done showed you about what He gonna do with Holy Trinity because some of them gonna think you crazy. Some of them gonna think it can't be done. But if God said it, that sells it with all me because right. God's word won't come back void. 
That's one thing y'all know about the covenant. Come on now. The covenant of God won't come back void. So I don't care how your family is and friends look at you or think about you. If you if you if you tell them you want to be a president of some company or you want to be a manager or whatever, you want to achieve something in life, and they're like, oh, you can't do it. I, you can't do it. I remember you back then. Okay, you might remember me back then, but you don't know what God got for me in my future. People Man. love to try to. Uh, be crowds in the bucket and pull you back down in the bucket because of your past, but God got something greater for you outside of that bucket in your right, future. Right, Amen. Right. Amen. 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 And, and so don't worry about it because you, you, as you read, the, especially the Old Testament, about different characters in the Bible, how 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 the family member didn't support them. Don't worry about family members and friends supporting them. You know God got your back. He always got somebody pointed to support you. Amen. He do. That, that's one thing I, I found out on this Christian journey, Pastor Bridget. We all got angels or somebody assigned to us. Yes. And so when you need that $20 and $30, even though it don't mean you laughing, but when we talk, call talk to you on the phone, that don't mean I'm going to give you $20. All but right. that person they assigned to you, uh, 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 Reverend Dawkins, uh, uh, they they gonna bless you. Yeah. That might be a person that you you very seldom communicate with, Amen. but they gonna bless you because they're assigned to you. Right. Now, I try to get people to see. I, when I came to that, I felt better towards families and friends. Like this certain part of the family got this kind of money, but but see, I'm in need, but they ain't assigned to me. But the one assigned to you, they 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 might not even have that much, but they're gonna bless you. Right. You know why? That that because God got something more in store for them. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, All right. yeah. So we, we we can't worry about uh the, the families and friends that don't support you and, and get behind your vision or whatever. But because when God got His fingers on uh, hands on you, uh, uh, He He already got the past made. All we gotta do is stay focused. David was sent. For an anointing as Israel's next king. And so whatever God got for you, you already know it for you. So if he calls your pastor to be a evangelist for those of you who are watching, or just be a great teacher like Josh Myers or whatever, uh, God, you already know it for you. But you got to stay uh, with God and, and, and keep your eyes on him. But if you walk away from him, I, I tell people in a minute, Pastor Bridget, God always with us. We don't want to walk away from him. All you know, right. I tell people, I, I was telling my cousin on the uh, on, uh, other day, as we, no, probably yesterday when we was going up to the mountain, that uh, I love the son to my heart, uh, Dawkins, walk with me, Lord, on this tedious journey. But even though I love that son so much, it ain't scripture, because God always going to walk with me. Right. David said, I've never seen a uh, righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread, so he always going to walk with me. I, I walk away from him. And when I'm walking away from him, I mean, he's still trying to get my attention. Amen. Amen. He tried to get our attention to come back to him. Amen. And, and so and, and we were discussing, we got to also watch the songs we sing, even though it sounds good, it might feel good to us, but it got to line up with the word of God. Amen. That's the only thing that's going to make a difference when stuff is lined up with the word of God. All right. It, it sounds good, music to your ears, make you, make you just want to move, and, <laughs> you, know, and you, you know, but if it ain't lined up with uh, with the word of God, uh, Sister Star, it always just a good feeling. Amen. Ain't no anointing, no power behind it Amen. because it ain't lined up with the word of God. Amen. And it, it goes on to say, uh, uh, after Saul's death, David became king of only king of only the tribe of Judah, which he ruled for seven and a half years. When Saul's son, uh oh, help me with Saul's Azabah. Uh, yes, 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 Oh, oh. Uh, so one thing, watching live, you can look that up. Was a murder. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna mess up no more. Uh, they were. Uh, Isabel. 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 The way, the way became clear of David to become king of the entire nation. And see, that's why it's so important. All of us, even me, Miss uh, uh, Pastor Liz and May Bush, we all got, we all got to watch how we treat one another because we all have our good days and bad days. Amen. Even in our bad days, 
Uh, even young people at school, you got to watch how you treat one another because you don't know who you got to look back over and, and help you up this ladder in, in, in this walk of life. Amen. Amen. You don't know who's going to have to, when we, you might be riding down the road and have a blowout. You don't know. And, and sometimes them nuts on that on that tire, you can't break it. And you're going to need somebody just a little, a little bit more power to break that lug nut on that tire. Amen. And so you never know who's going to have to stop by and help you out of the ditch. Amen. Right. You might be that ox in the ditch and that right. same person. Right. <laughs> you, you cross your eyes at and stir your nose that gonna be the same person to be putting you the ox, getting you out of the ditch. Right. Amen. So for all of us, Amen, how God just uh made David great over I, I just imagine now all the people that before this time just did David wrong. Like and, and, and they think too much of David. Oh man, like oh Lord. Oh, God, we need to go back and ask David for forgiveness and for we can find favor in this sight. And so that's why we got to watch it. Amen. 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 We, we, got to, we, we got to watch it. That, that's all of it because I, I know I could cut. I, I said in a minute, I could cut a food. Amen. When I ain't in the presence of the Lord. I ain't saying when the Lord is not in my presence. When I'm not in the presence <laughs> of the Lord, I can cut a food. Amen. So, you know, I, I found out the help, the help, especially when you're dealing with customer service or, 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 or whatever, dealing with people, I have to pray. Like, God, give me the mind. Amen. The, the, the do right and, and, and the, have the right attitude. Because I, I realize, Pastor Bridget, and sometimes we got to come to our senses again and come to realize we can't do this thing on our own. We try, we'll try to think, well, I'm going to come to church. And we can't even, and we think we are uh, 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 dogs. We can't even come to church on time without the Lord helping them. I, even me, I wave my hand, I lay there because, oh, Lord, this hip, my leg, my back. And, but if I call, if I say, Lord, I, I need to get to church on time. Deliver. But when I try to do a pastor bridge, yeah. I'll lay there and I grab this, I grab that. <laughs> but when I talk to the Lord, amen, amen, amen. It, it, it turns out to be all right. Amen. So we can't, you know, that song, now this is a true song. I can't even walk when I am holding my hand. Amen. And that, that's a true song right there. And, and so uh, it goes on to say, uh, he also defeated the Philistines. Let me see, make sure I'm right here. Okay. David proceeded to conquer the city of Judah and bring the Ark of the Covenant there. He also defeated the Philistines, who had been the thorn in Israel's side for some time. Amen. Amen. God will help you defeat things, the enemy. Amen. And that's uh, people or uh, addiction. Anything that that's uh, 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 that will, let me see. <laughs> Huh? Hinder. There you go. Thank you, there, Dawkins. Hinder. <laughs> Amen. Hinder your communication with God or that fellowship. I mean, if it's drinking, smoking, fornicating, or just whatever, it's lying, backstabbing, being two faced, or whatever, uh, lying to the pastor, that could be a hindrance. You don't fully, you really don't fully lie to the man or one of a, one of God, because your word should be a covenant with them, pastor. Man. I'm gonna do it, pastor. Uh, I'm gonna help you do this. I'm gonna help you, and, and our word should be a bond. Amen. It should be a bummer. And I'm like, uh oh, I probably lost some people right there. Cause I'm pretty sure a whole lot of folks done said, Pastor, I got you. But when the pastor look around, uh oh. <laughs> and nobody got me. Uh oh. And, uh, and I don't say that to suck up because I don't have to suck up to nobody. I'm just vain. But it's the truth. Amen. And it's the truth. And it says, uh, 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 and so when you got thorns in your flesh, when you got a uh, thorn in your side, amen. God help you. God will help you deal with it. Now, I got to put this pinpoint in there. Uh, Paul had a thorn, but God didn't remove that. And so that's why I tell people, you got to have a relationship with God. But when you're going through stuff like that, mm -hmm. some people, like with this, with David, it was a thorn. God removed it. Paul, uh, over in Acts, Acts yeah, he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't remove that, huh? Oh, okay. He didn't remove that thorn. And so we, that's why it's so important to have a relationship with God. For when God, okay, you, you move that thorn I had, you know, a couple months ago, but this thorn you don't want to move. And so that's why it's so important we have a relationship with God for He can talk to us. Well, why? He might say, well, Vance, that's a learning period right here. Yeah, right now, yeah, I, I need you because right now I, I got that thorn in your flesh because 
uh, you might be in the valleys and the shadows of death, but while you there in the valley, amen, down, because, you know, that my second book I, I don't start, I always talk about being in the valley. And when you're in the valley, and as I did research, a valley is just a deep cave, and they said, and as I did research, they said when it rained and all that water washes down to the valley, all that tops off from the top don't wash down to the valley. That means the valley is rich. And so that's why they said there's a lily in a valley. You know why there's a lily in the valley? Because there's rich, rich soil in the valley. So start when you get down and you're like, you shake your head and it seems like your back is up against the wall and there ain't nobody around. And like, well, it's a learning spirit. I mean, it's a learning, it's a learning time right there. Because God trying to show you something. God trying to tell you something. Amen. So don't, don't cry. Uh, uh, don't weep all the time. Sometimes we got to man up and woman up when we're in the battle to hear what God got to say. But we always saw the Pastor Bridget, I don't know what is going on. I don't know why. And you can't hear God whining all the time. Right. And sometimes we got to man up and woman up before we can hear God's voice when we're in, when we're in the battle because Amen. it's rich saw there. Amen. It's rich saw Amen. in the valley. Amen. 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 And so that's why I, I try to tell people in my ears, as a, it's just like a musician, you know what? Uh, I, I put down playing the piano. So the other day, Richard came home. I was on the piano, falling behind Jimmy Swagger and them. And, you know, trying to keep up with Jimmy Swagger band. And Richard said, oh, Dad, oh, oh what, you playing with me? I'm like, yeah, I, I can jam with them because I kind of like rock and roll. And, uh, but I noticed as I pick up by playing, my ear uh, uh, is getting back like it used to be. But same way with God. The more you spend time with God, your ears hear to his voice. Your ear will be, and you'll be able to hear the things he got to say, but you don't spend time with him. It, it, and God will be talking to you, and you, and, 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 and you think it's something else. Because I know one time I was at this church, and God told me to bless the pastor, the pastor with $250. I said, Devil, get back. And that, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and God ain't telling me to bless no pastor with no $250, but it was God's voice, and I had to pay the consequence. I, I, Right now, I still regret that possibility because I can just imagine the change in the doors. The chains could have, you know, would, would have fell off and doors could have been open mm -hmm. if I would bless the man of God. Mm -hmm. But because I wouldn't spend that much time with him, not working 12 hours at the prison and all that stuff and just body tired, that's when I was going through issues with my back. And I wasn't hearing God. And I thought it was the devil, the devil on his shoulder. <laughs> but, but it was God. But I, that's why I said the more time we spend with God, better we can hear his voice. Amen. Better we can hear his Amen. voice. It says, while the above achievement, we step... Uh, were, uh, while above achievement were a step David took to solidify his, his, his reign. Today's lesson text record what God did to uh, solidify the, the reign in a way that David never could have imagined. And see, God, when, 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 when you are the God's own heart, hmm, God can do some stuff in your life that you can't even imagine, stuff. That's why I tell people, and I understand why David said he prepared a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Amen. Your enemies are, could be all around you, stuff. People could be doing you wrong, dirty wrong, backstabbing you, saying, saying all the amount of evil against you. But what, when you when you out the God's own heart and you spend that time with Him, when you go in that secret closet, pray to the Father which is in secret, He rewards you openly. The reason He's gonna do that because you don't spend time with Him, and when you spend time with Him, God can show you some. God can do the the, the stuff you can't even imagine in your life, uh, 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 preacher. God can open up doors, minister when other preachers done try to close doors. God open up doors over here in the west wing or in the, in the north wing. He, he might not want you in the south wing. Amen. He might want you in the west or the north wing. Amen. So we can't always fuck like, why ain't never preached over here? Well, maybe God said, they don't want to hear your voice over there, but I need you over here. Well, they're going to hear Reverend Dawkins voice. Amen. Even to you passing this man, Richard, and you might not get invited, but when you do get invited, that's the same way with me, because I know I'm not going to be invited anywhere just because my style of preaching. My style of preaching is more of correction. Get right, church, and let's go home. And so everybody ain't going to welcome that, because I ain't preaching about Mercedes and, and BMWs, and, and if you sold $58 in 58 days, God going to bless you. No, that, that ain't my type, of, my type of ministry. And so I'm not going to be welcome everywhere, but what a door do open up. I know God done, you know, God done ordained that and anointed me for that point in time. Amen. Amen. And God anointed me for that point in time. Yes, 
Oh, is see it? If, yeah, see if somebody else oh, okay. has some All right, come on. I know Dalton got some. Yeah. Well, I, just, <laughs> I was just thinking about what you said, the throne in the side. Yes, sir. Uh, a lot of times uh, you can have a splinter in your finger. <laughs> come on, with it. <laughs> and it will keep in mind that you, you can't do it so much with that finger. Yeah. And when Paul had this stone in his side, he couldn't do but so much because it would come back to him and I would hold straight up. <laughs> yeah, come on now. And then you were talking about the richness in the valley. Yeah. Uh, we note that uh, how the Nile River flowed down uh, the whole dogs. land. <laughs> <laughs> and as uh, it flowed down, it brought soil and rich soil from uh, up uh, upstream, and that's why they were able to grow so much different fruit and stuff, yeah. uh, and grain and everything, because the richness had uh, come through the Nile Valley down, uh, down to the Nile Valley. Come on now. If they could, uh, uh, you know, it would be rich. And right. when you said that about being in the valley, <laughs> uh, I never will forget uh, when we were building our church down at Indian Hill. Uh, I was to put the uh, I had I was in charge to put the the, the uh, roofing on, and I couldn't get no help. Right. Uh, the, to get the roofing on and the valley, it where two come together and have to match, and if it don't match, it's a roof. so I stayed in that valley I think for about three or four days, and my sister told me, "See, you just be encouraged." That while you're in that valley, you pray. <laughs> and, and the Lord really worked it out. I was able to uh, accomplish the work that had been uh, set before me at that valley. Mm -hmm. That valley it seemed like <coughs> the more I worked on it, the, 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 it seemed like the less I got done. Right. But you got to have patience. Come on, sir. Yeah. When you have patience, see, that's what's wrong with the church today. <laughs> they don't have patience. patience. See, Job said, all the day in my point in time, I'm going to wait on my change. Mm -hmm. So when you wait on your change and you wait with patience, praying now, not just saying <laughs> how, but right. you got to be praying mm -hmm. and fasting mm -hmm. and dedicate yourself to the Lord. So when the time comes for you to be uh, exalted or be delivered, as Job was, Job waited and he might have said some things that... Uh, he shouldn't have said, which we all are. We are human. And oh, yeah. A lot of time. And our weakness point seems like that's when the devil will really uh, come against you. Mm -hmm. But you got to have patience. And when David wanted to build this uh, house for the Lord, uh, the Lord would not suffer him to build it, but he's going to let his son build it. So you got to accept what God says. Mm -hmm. So often time, you can give a person a message, and they will accept it from everybody except from the one <laughs> that's supposed to be giving the message. They that's will, right. They're trying to work with it and everything and all, but you got to have patience. You got to wait on the Lord, and most of all, you got to fast and pray mm -hmm. and do what's right. Amen. Amen. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, All right. Well, thank you everybody for uh, for uh, being with us uh, today in our Sunday school lesson. This is going to close out our Sunday school lesson. Amen.